Hey, well, today's passage is Deuteronomy 30, 19, and it says, This day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live. You know, God speaking through Moses lets the people of Israel know that there are two choices on the table, life or death. And he, he tosses the ball in their court saying, you choose which you'll experience. And then he commands them to choose life. It, it's like, duh, the choice isn't that hard. Do you want death or life? Choose life. It's a no-brainer. And this is a choice that you and I have to make every day when we wake up, including this day. And if you think it would be a no-brainer to choose life, but the thing is, we choose death all the time when we choose to think about ourselves instead of God and others first. We, we choose death when we gossip. We choose death when we hold on to that grudge, when we judge others, when we embrace the negative, when we give into that sin or addiction again, when we develop a, a financial plan that incorporates only our kingdom, excluding God's kingdom, when we keep control for ourselves, right? This, I mean, the list just goes on and on and on, but we choose life when we live for the opposite of those things. See, we choose life when we love, when we forgive, when we give grace, when we're patient, when we're kind, when we exercise self-control. Like this is when we choose life. So today, you've got two options on the table. Life, death, survival, revival. It's up to you which one we choose.